Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another contact tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to reduce how much RAM is being used or required for any of your instruments. Uh, this is especially good if you don't have a lot of RAM or you've got a big project with a lot going on. It's really easy to actually reduce RAM usage inside of any contact instrument. Some have more options than the others, but let's just jump into it and so I can show you what I mean. If you look up here in the top right, Right now, this particular instance of Novo is taking up 1.07 gigabytes of RAM. That's a lot of RAM, especially for someone like me with only 8 gigabytes of RAM to work with. Now, that's not really fair because I have the full sample loaded. And what that is, is that's because this particular instrument was recorded with three different mics. There's the close mic, a room mic, and a hall mic. And you can use the full, which is those three combined in mixed beforehand or you can turn this off and then mix the three yourself or you can just use one or the other just for instance i'm going to use these three mics i can easily purge this full one and it's going to get rid of a bunch of ram for me it's going to free up ram for me see now we're at 0.8 gigabytes and that's the same with these articulations so for a massive string instrument like novo here we have five different articulations with three different mic positions. So that's five times three. That's 15 different samples for each one of the notes <laughs> inside of the instrument. So that's, as you can imagine, quite a lot. So for this particular string piece I have, I'm actually only using the spiccato. So I can turn off these other ones. And by turn off, I mean purge them from memory. And to do that, you just hit this P up here. Bam, 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 bam. And now if we look at the RAM, I'm down to 138. So I went from over a gigabyte to 138 just by purging the things I know I'm not gonna need. But we can actually go a bunch further. There's a way to, inside of any contact instruments, only load the samples that you're using in a particular piece. So if I look right here, this is the MIDI I have. If I want to purge everything but those notes and the performance to really cut down on RAM usage, I can come over to this purge right here. If you don't see it, you just gotta click the snapshot area, come down and say reset markers. And then what we need to do is play the piece from front to back. You wanna make sure you play all of the notes because it's gonna mark each one of the notes that you play. So when we purge the other ones, you don't lose anything. So let's go ahead and listen to the piece. Okay, so now it's marked all of those notes that were just played. And then the next thing we need to do is come down and say update sample pool. And what that's gonna do is keep all of the notes it just marked and get rid of everything else from the RAM. It's not deleting those samples, it's just getting rid of them loaded in RAM. And now look at, we're at 13.96 megabytes. So we went from about that plus a gigabyte down a f almost a full gigabyte of RAM and now we're not gonna experience any issues with those particular notes. I can even go in and switch them up inside of the MIDI clip. If I come in and just have it folded down, I can go anywhere inside of here without having any issues. Now, if I jump outside of there, we're gonna run into some, some lag at the beginning just because it's gonna have to reload those samples. There's another way to do the same sort of thing but load the samples dynamically, and it just says purge all samples. And as you can see, now we're at zero RAM because we've just gotten rid of everything. But if we go ahead and play the sample now. You can see it was a little bit stuttery and that's because I don't have the fastest computer, but if you did have a faster computer, that would probably load a little bit smoother. But however, we're back up to that 13.61 megabytes and it's just loaded it dynamically instead of doing like the pre-scan and mark uh, sample process that we did before. So that's a few ways to get started on conserving RAM and really optimizing your instruments. Because once you start getting into contact instruments, they've just got so many great instruments that you're going to want to use a lot of them inside of your projects and there's just no reason to have a gigabyte worth of samples loaded if you're only going to be using 13 megabytes.
Oh, and one more thing before I go, if you get worried or you want to load everything else, just say reload all samples and it will go back and load everything for you that you had before. That's not going to supersede these purge buttons. So if you want to reload these, you have to turn them back off and it will just load everything for you just like it was before. And that works for any contact instruments. Even those that don't have purge specific buttons inside of the GUI, this purge feature is always going to be available to you inside of any of these instruments that you load inside of the contact player. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.